It's Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month. A million people in the U.S. have the disease, with most people being diagnosed between 20 and 40 years old. Professor of Neurology Jaime Imitola is here now to talk more about this. So Jaime, you lead UConn Health Multiple Sclerosis Center. Thank you so much for being with us here today. To start out, we know MS is caused by an issue with the nerves. Can you break down what's going inside the, on inside the body when people develop this disease? Well, thank you for having me, and, and thank you for bringing awareness to this disease. Basically, uh, MS, multiple sclerosis, is an autoimmune inflammatory disease of the brain and the spine, where the immune system that is, you know, in charge of protecting us from infections like COVID and other infections like the flu, uh, targets our own um, brain cells, and that leads to destruction of a uh, substance that we call myelin that wraps uh, the nerves in the brain and in the spine, and that leads to pathology or disability. The most important part of this disease is actually the ability to diagnose it on time. Now, you co-created a new bilingual educational framework to help raise awareness of early MS. Explain how it works and why is it so important to be accessible to more people? We we have developed this tool that uh, originally was intended to help medical students to, to understand the initial manifestations of MS. There are some symptoms that are quite relevant to MS when we see them in young people. Like for instance, the visual issues, right? Uh, uh, blindness or a painful loss of vision or double vision. That's one of the most important uh, symptoms that we have. And then we have um, balance issues. I mean, people that are having troubles with balance, they cannot walk straight and they have issues also with numbness. So all together, um, this early symptoms, we put it together into a mnemonic that is, is visible. Visible, as you can see in the screen, um, it basically shows what are the most relevant signs and symptoms. Now, those bilingual resources that you've created, how does that really help raise awareness and help provide resources to all people? Why we did that is actually very important. The issue is that about in in, in it's the state of Connecticut, we have about 30,000 patients with MS. Uh, the, in here in Yukon Health, we see uh, minorities, uh, people without insurance. And we have learned in the last five years, that based on the work that we have done in our team, is that about 40% of those patients are usually uh, diagnosed late, and they are minorities, African-American or Hispanics. So we need to do something to increase awareness in these populations. We think that um, based on our experience that uh, early intervention, it leads to, to better outcomes. We need to make them aware. So initially intended as a medical student tool, we also can use it for, for families to explain what are the major symptoms of MS that you can that you need to be aware? Historically, um, MS was thought to be a disease that only happens in Caucasians. But we have learned over the last uh, probably five to 10 years that there is an increase uh, of MS in African-Americans in the United States, also because of not only the biological issue, but social determinants of health. The, the patient will have worse disease over time. So uh, we know a lot now about what happens in, in some diverse group of people and how this disease affect them. We think that um, by empowering the individuals and telling them and, and make them aware, they become uh, agents that are more uh, intended to actually to pursue looking at or seeking care for themselves. All right, Dr. Jaime Imitola with UConn Health, thank you so much for your time and your expertise tonight.